Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to LEGO DC Super Villains. And yeah. today is the last of the free roaming Aww. for the Super Villains game. But no worries, there's great content for Aquaman coming out, Batman the Animated Series, Yay. Young Justice, and a bunch of other stuff. So we'll be playing this game off and on for the next couple months. Oh, yeah. Probably six months. But anyway, uh, we totally forgot to do our friend Bronze Tiger last time. That's Oops. my bad. So uh, I kind of forgot that we got him. I uh, We got him, and then I started jumping around with him and going swipey swipe. You need a t-shirt that says swipey swipe. <laughs> All right, so smash walls, selfie powers, hyper jump, Ooh, acrobatics, uh, super strength, and wall climbing. Yay. I think wall climbing is kind of lame in this game. It's cooler in some of the other LEGO games, but not so much this one. Yep. His early life is shrouded in mystery. Whoa. The highly skilled martial artist Ben Turner used his training to become a villainous agent for hire, Ooh. working alongside Deathstroke. <gasps> However, more recently, he's reformed and now helps fight crime in Gotham City, proving Whoa. himself to be a valuable ally to the Batman. Wait, so he switched sides then. That's pretty mm -hmm. cool. First comic appearance. Character debut... Uh, Richard, Richard Dragon, Dragon Kung Fu Fighter number one. Kung Fu Fighter. 1975. Current versions Red Hood and the Outlaws number 20, 2013. Well, I mean, back then everyone was Kung Fu fighting. Mm. Everybody was there. Kung Fu fighting. Copyright, copyright, copyright. <laughs> okay. Hey, Bronze Tiger was more than happy to accept this as a reward. That's just lightning. So now we've got our friend Jessica Cruz. It looks like Bronze Tiger has a. Oh, wait. So we just unlocked Jessica Cruz. Looks like Bronze Tiger has a tiger sense. Like that little thing that comes on his. Tiger? Let's see. He just did it. You just did tiger sense? Tiger sense. Tiger sense. Okay. Tiger power. So we're doing Jessica There's Cruz. There's Jessica Cruz. Another uh, Green Lantern. Yes, yeah, she's actually a new 52 Green Lantern, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so. Jessica Cruz. Alrighty then. Here we go. She is ah, dip, 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 dip. She has Jessica all, Cruz. She has all the same powers as a Green Lantern. So we've gone over Green Lanterns before. You guys know how that works. So after a traumatic incident left Ooh. her afraid, Jessica Cruz was chosen by the sinister ring of Volthoom. Oh. To yeah. become the next power ring, oh. later learning to overcome the fear, her fears, Jessica resisted the ring, uh, hold over her, and began a new life as the Green Lantern, Whoa. fighting to bring justice to the universe. Cool. Wait, she's using Power Ring's power ring? Okay. Wait, power, power Ring's power ring? Yep. Who's power ring? Power ring is that evil entity uh, who's a member of the crime syndicate and oh. had a nasty role in Forever Evil. First Whoa. comic appearance, Green Lantern number 20, 2013. I didn't know that. It's really a thing? Okay. And so, yeah, so she can do the shield ability, she can fly. People know what Green Lanterns could do. It's not not a big deal. I always forget. She can build stuff. She can build stuff, she yes. She can use her Green Lantern shooting powers and Green And Lantern I thought rain. we got Terra, but I guess not. So, Terra, the Teen Titan that betrays the Teen Titans because she is an agent of Slade. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, she is right up here. Oh, wow. So we're getting a lo we're getting pretty much as many people as we can on this episode. That's why we're going through everything like quick as possible so we can get as many bricks as possible and finish out the uh cuz you guys probably have watched a lot of our free roamness. A lot of our free roamingness. All so right. there's Terra. Oh, we know her powers. Rock power. Terra rocks. Except oh wow, she looks really different. That's there. her classic outfit. All right, Whoa. so selfie powers, hyper jump, flight on rocks, digging makes sense. Shield powers and, and smash, smash walls. walls. Troubled teenager Terra Markov. 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 Mark it's a V. So something Mark Russian. Markov. Yeah, Russian. We'll go with or it. Marco. Discovered that she had the metahuman ability of geokinetics. Geokinesis. I couldn't see that. Allowing her to manipulate rocks and other Earth-based elements. Once an ally of the Teen Titans and a secret underling of Deathstroke, she now uses her powers for her own purpose as Terra. First comic appearance, New Teen Titans, number 26, 1982. Oh, I get it. She spelled her name Terra as in, like, the Earth Terra. Yeah, like Terraform. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. 
Yep, yep, yep. So that is the uh, last just, of the characters in this uh, Arkham Asylum I'm area. I'm just picturing her as the Teen Titans go tear, and it's funny. Yeah, well, I mean, she, uh, she had her own version uh, for the Teen Titans 2003 show. Except now oh. it sounds like uh, the Teen Titans aren't really getting their own reboot or soft reboot or whatever. They're uh, going to appear in a movie with the Teen Titans Go characters, and it's got a lot of people pretty angry because everybody oh. was like, the teaser at the end of the movie. They said that they might be coming back. They never said a season six. They said that the Teen Titans were coming back, and they are in a brand new movie oh with Teen Titans Go. Uh, Trolled again by DC Comics. Why? We encouraged everyone to go see that movie so the Teen Titans could actually come back. And it did, technically. <sighs> no, it didn't. That's not the same thing. That's not ba, the same ba, thing. Ba, ba, ba. One movie where they share it with Teen Titans Go? No. Girl power. Uh, I'm sorry, but was Tara in the 70s because her hair looks really weird? Oh, and one thing about Jessica Cruz I don't like. I don't know if in the DC Rebirth universe if Iris West and Barry Allen are together or not, but I'm pretty sure Jessica Cruz and The Flash, a.k.a. Barry Allen, are an item, which is what weird. Why? He's supposed to be with Iris. It was a new 52 thing. Don't don't ask. What? No, I'm not okay with this. Now you're triggered. We're... Oh. We're at the uh, Gotham Amusement Mile. So the next character, Briefcase, is located right over here. I, I feel like... Oh, there's another person. I feel like Bronze Tiger, maybe he was more like a mercenary first and then he became a hero. I don't know if he was necessarily a bad guy. It's like he's a mercenary. Maybe that's kind of the same. Mark Hamill. Huh? Looks like the fun's about to begin. The trickster. And it's actually voiced by Mark Hamill. Oh, nice. So let's uh, see what the trickster does. The trickster. Okay, so core abilities. We've got graffiti powers, Yay. flight, explosives. explosives, acrobat, hyper jump, jump. Photo, mode, photo mode, and technology. Yay. Following the... Following in frolicking the frolicking footsteps. footsteps of the original trickster, James Jesse, <laughs> Alex Walker became the second supervillain to take the name of the Flash's most profilic uh, pranking pest. That's a lot of peas. Prolific pranking pest. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. I Continue. loathe you. <laughs> Grammar Nazi. Using his uh. many gag-based gadgets, Axel has tried his best to emulate his predecessor at the times <laughs> even sounding like him. I like you squinting trying to see the words. <laughs> uh, I'm tired. Oh, that's fun. First comic appearance, uh, character debut, The Flash 113, 1960. Current version, The Flash 183, 2002. Yay. And in the Flash uh, show, The Flash, where Mark, Flash. Mark Hamill reprised his role, he made uh, the trickster the father of the second trickster. Yes, yeah, so. But this Jesse. is actually voiced. This is Jesse. This is or this is Axel. This is Axel. Voiced by uh, Mark Hamill, who plays the trickster in Justice League, like the 2000 show. Mm -hmm. He played the trickster again in Justice League Action, and he played the trickster in another thing. I thought he played the trickster in the fl the original Flash show. He also played the trickster in the original Flash. He looked crazy there. Yes, he did. Everyone looked crazy in the original Flash, like mm -hmm. the old Flash, and it looked really violent, too, compared to this Flash. It looked really violent. Yeah, it did. All right, so uh, the next person that we're looking for is Dexstar, which Dexstar. is inside of a pet, pet store in Chinatown. Okay. So we're in Chinatown. We're looking for a pet store. We're getting tons of characters today. There's actually not that many of them left. There's only a couple. Oh, pet store. And then the rest store. of them are in free play, I which... I don't know where the pet store is. That's a tea shop. Yeah, that's a delicious tea shop. Oh, I'm man. not an evil thing. All I want to do is sing. Music Meister. Yeah, the Music Meister. That is the, uh, the last quest yeah. character, I believe. Something like that. And Black Canary we're also missing. She is around as well. Ah. But... 
definitely uh, Dexstar is inside of a pet store. So if we don't find him today, then this might not be the finale episode. We might have one more episode for you guys. Oh. But um, free plays are probably going to be either live streams or something else. I love the intricate detail on these, like, different... You know, in Chinatown and stuff, like, you can see every little stitch of those little lanterns and stuff. Mm-hmm. If I was a pet store, I, I am a fan of... I think a uh, character... Out of the characters we unlocked today... I really like playing as Bronze Tiger because he has a swipey swipe stuff. Really like playing as Bronze Tiger because swipey swipe. I like... I like swipey swipe moves. Yeah, I don't have any more stuff, but I don't care. But... Yeah. I've got no more pictures. Because that's how I roll. I'm surprised how many characters they have in this room. Pre-50 new, new 52, everything. Just so many old and new characters, it's amazing. That looks like a pet store to me. So... Oh my goodness, Luke. The there he is. Hey. Dexstar! Kitty! That's right, Kitty. Oh my gosh, we should bring in the Squirrel Lantern and Dexstar at the same time. The Squirrel Lantern and Dexstar? Dexter wasn't that expensive. Meow. Oh, he doesn't look as cute. Well, I mean, he kind of does. Mm, Dexter, we have to do his origin. Okay. Dexter's origin. Because cats are people, too. Okay, so this one, teleportation, green lantern constructs, flight, dig, uh, tracking because it's a cat, vent travel. And, uh, ordinary house cat Dexter became <laughs> consumed with rage after the loss of his owner. Aww. Sensing his anger, a red lantern power ring was driven to him, attaching itself to the tail and turning him into the fury-filled feline Dexter. <laughs> now a close ally of Atrocitus. This good kitty is out for revenge. First what? comic appearance, Final Crisis, Rage of the Red Lanterns, number one, 2008. So he used to be an ordinary house cat? Mm-hmm. He looks pretty angry right now. That's because he's rage-filled! So, how many pets do we have in this game? We have Dexter the cat, we have the puppy, super dog, or whatever. Super dog. We have the squirrel, and then I, squirrel. Th I thought there was a bat dog. Ace? No, Ace, Ace is not in. Hound. Nope, Ace is not in this. No Ace. And are there any other animals that they could have put in here? Uh, Probably. Uh, not really sure. That's a good question. Well, it's funny to see he's flying by that little tiny ring on his tail. He's flying by his little tiny ring. Yeah. I'm a little kind of scared of cats because they're already kind of angry creatures. Sometimes they swipe at people already. Swipe at swipe. And now it's just like, with a ring of rage, I would be really afraid of my own cat if they had a rage ring on them. Like, I would not even, I would run from my bedroom door in the morning down to the front door to get out of the house. Like, I would be afraid of being murdered for my cats. <sighs> I just needed to get that off my chest. I bet you did. Now, Black Canary is supposed to be in this area of Gotham. She, she's near the bridge where... She's near the bridge? Yeah, but if you go to Chinatown, you've gone too far. Ah, well, so we're then in Chinatown. It might be... Is it here? No, this is not it. I I found it once or twice, and I was like, okay, we mental like, note. Oh, we're gonna come back here. Yeah, I was like, mental note. We're just gonna, you know, we're gonna come back, and mm -hmm. I'm gonna be able to get it. It won't be any problems. But guess uh, what? Problems. Wait, is she around here? You think? Um. Oh my gosh! I guess we might not find her today. Oops. You know what? I'm not gonna. Stop. Well, there's still Blue Beetle in the swamp. Oh yeah, we still need to get Blue Beetle. And uh... Well, Luke, we got really far in this. We got a lot of characters. We did get a bunch of characters. So, I have a question. Is Bronze Tiger like a super popular character? Because it feels like a lot of people know who he is. He was or big like... in the 70s. Ah, okay. There she is. Oh, cool. We're just like and really just uh, Black Canary! Putting this off on our list. Okay. So now she can be next to... 
uh, what's his name? Black Green. Adam and Green Black Arrow. Manta. Oh yeah, both yeah. But she doesn't have a voice, so... Them. Nope, no voice for Black Canary. So they're going with her DC Rebirth costume. Yay, she looks cute like that. She looks very cute. I like her cute blonde hair and stuff. I guess we'll call this the briefcase episode. Oh, her face looks a little weird, but okay. Okay, so we've got core abilities, a sonar, so the Black Canary scream, security access, the selfie mode, and acrobatic powers. Oh, okay. Abandoned by her mother at a young age, Dinah Drake was raised by local martial artist teacher Desmond L Lamar? Lamar, which is, uh, oh, what was his name? Black Cat, Shadow Cat. Oh, I or is it Lamar? I can't, Wildcat. Wildcat. Uh, Just call okay. him. Yeah, he's Wildcat. After developing her advanced uh, fighting skills and discovering her Canary Cry metahuman ability, DD founded the Birds of Prey and often fights alongside the Justice League. She didn't found it. Oracle founded it. You know what? First comic appearance, mm. Flash Comics number 86. That was her mom, 1947. Uh, her mom was the original Black Canary. All right, look, I want to see the Canary uh, Cry. I've been waiting for this. What? What? Excuse me. Wow, that was so anticlimactic. That is not really all that impressive she a canary like cry. Somebody. Oh my gosh, that does not sound like a no. canary cry. And what is they did a great job at it in Injustice. Yeah, well, I mean that was that was Injustice. She she did really she good just, in that. She didn't scream. She's supposed to yell like scream. Like yeah. she's cry like from her voice. Her voice. She's doing a yell from her voice. Doing a yell from her voice. <sighs> Alright, so let's so go to the swamp and get the uh, last... She looked like she had a black and blue outfit, though. It wasn't all black. No, it's not all black. It's a little different. Okay. A little bit different. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. Now, apparently, Blue Beetle is on top of the shack of that old man in the swamp. So, this guy... Mm. Not really seeing how that's a thing. Oh wait, no, it's inside his house. Blue Beetle is. Yep, there it is. Oh wow, Luke, you're finding so many people today. I made mental notes where they all were. Yeah, I know. I I've seen you playing this game a lot between like episodes and stuff. This is the last time we hundred percented a game like for Lego was um. Oh, was and it? I had I helped. I haven't really helped at all hundred percent this. Nope. So, unfortunately, Blue Beetle has no voice, so oh. there's the stingers. Oh, he looks cool. Yeah, if you like bugs. I mean, he looks really cool, his outfit and stuff. I mean, I always feel like it's freaky. Blue Beetle is just freaky because it's some kind of, like, parasitic alien that's taking him over. It's just disturbing to me. But he's a really cool hero and stuff like that. Yeah, totally. All right, so let's uh, look at Jaime. Mm. All right, so Blue Beetle, electricity powers. He has detective mode, Ooh. beam deflect, acrobat, acrobat. flight, electricity Ooh. protection, Ooh. fire protection, toxic gas protection. Wow, a lot of protection. Oh, yeah. Uh, security access, Whoa. selfie mode, hyper jump, toxic goo protection, Whoa. technology. Tracking. Oh my god! X-ray vision. They made him have a lot of powers. Well, he, Jaime has that alien on his back. So. Oh yeah, the alien can basically trudge through anything. Accidentally bonding with a strange alien artifact known as the Scarab, teenager Jaime Reyes became the next in the long line of champions to carry the role of Blue Beetle. Uh, initially struggling to control his incredible new powers. Thank you, Shadow. Jaime <laughs> now fights to become the hero of. He never asked to be. She's headbutting me. Oh, First comic oh. appearance, Infinite Crisis number three, 2006. She's a sweet kitty. And Jaime replaced uh, Ted Cord, who was killed off by DC, and it makes everything sad. I think that his outfit, he looks really cool as a Lego. Yeah, he does. He looks pretty cool. So, uh, pretty much, people, I think that is all the suitcases. If we missed something, please let us know in the comment section below. Join us next time as we finish up the free roaming completely and do the music master, Meister. <laughs> Yay! Subscribe <laughs> to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys with the free roam finale tomorrow. God bless and happy gaming. See ya! 
and let us know which of these characters is your favorite.